all right guys so here is the first row and on this row i just keep a lot of my resources and dvds so for decoration in a sense i have this little cup here it's just a candle holder and um i have my tbr kind of pieces in here but i haven't really been using them so i need to go through these and then i have some candy canes from christmas still in here i also keep one of my tumblers from discover the word i really love this tumbler it's probably one of my favorites Moving on, we have this pink basket. I got this pink basket from Dollar Tree and it is just so pretty. But inside, I keep all of my Discovery Series kind of little booklets in here. I have so many of those little tiny booklets. It's ridiculous. I'm going to do a full-blown collection, but um, a lot of those booklets are in here. So these are going to be like my resources up here. So right here, we have the rows book of bible charts maps and timelines this is volume one i will be doing a review on this really really soon i recorded a review didn't like it and deleted it so new one coming soon then we have the strongest concordance here we have cornerstones which is kind of like a q a game which i really really love because it splits up um into different sections it talks about jesus god the church um salvation and things like that really amazing questions that is that are good for kids and adults my family we love playing this around dinner time um, then we have 365 Trivia Twist Devotions. This is more so a devotional for kids, but I do enjoy it, so I keep it up here on my shelf. These two books here, this is called The Will of the Holy Trinity for Human Beings. And then this white one here is called The Love of God Revealed Through Jesus, the Only Begotten Son. So this is on Genesis chapter 1. This one is on John chapter 1. I got these from New Life Mission. Um, I forgot which one of you ladies talked about it on um, Facebook they shared it and I wanted to see what they were about pretty much they're like miniature sermons on the chapters from each book so I haven't gone through it yet but I just have it there then I have my writer's reference here at seventh edition this is actually my mom's version my version is well gone but um I have hers because she doesn't really use it and I do and I am a writer as a kid I would write stories poems plays and whatnot um as an adult I am working on two fictional novels but I'm also thinking about getting into a third right now I have a contemporary romance that I'm working on as well as a fantasy that I'm working on um but I'm thinking about giving my hands at christian fiction or maybe even biblical fiction i'm not sure yet the idea is running in my head um then we have brief in the bible by dr j vernon mcgee this is really great it just goes through basic information about each book of the bible this luke commentary i got actually as a giveaway surprise i wanted in a giveaway when um i entered in the blogging group that i'm a part of then we have the Webster's Dictionary. I just have a small, like, student size one. Um, I have volumes one and two of my Demon Dictionary from Kimberly Daniels. I can't wait to dive into these, but I'm a little scared to get into them, so I'll hold off on those for a little while. This right here is my quick scripture reference for counseling. This is by John J. Cruz. Cruz? Cruz? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Hopefully, you guys have seen this. I'm not sure. But, um... Then we have my three everyday commentaries from Moody Publisher. So we have one on Revelation, Romans, and Isaiah. Those are just really quick and simple um, commentaries just to get some basic brief in information. Then we have Women of the Word by Jenny Wilkin. I keep it up here because I do think of it as like a resource kind of book. So I'll keep it up here. This book is really, really great. I have read it. I have tabbed it up. It is beautifully just written. I love everything about it. Then... Over here, we have my Nelson's Biblical Cyclopedic Index, the Compact Bible Dictionary, the Compact Bible Handbook, the Baker Compact Dictionary of Biblical Studies, Know Your Bible, All 66 Books Explained and Applied, How to Study the Bible, and 199 Promises of God. So these are all of the books. Then we get into my audio section. So I have Encouragement from discover the word i have the broken way by ann Voskamp, which is from discover the word we have christmas reflections and new year's resolutions from discover the word i have some audios so there is a redeemer is an instrumental celebration of easter how great thou art is an acapella hymns hark which is a celtic christmas celebration and then this has i believe three cds in here I'm not sure, but it, it's um, Joy to the World, 60 Best Loved Christmas Carols. So we have that. Then over here, we get into all of my DVD kind of studies, audio studies. So all of these in front are going to be Joyce Meyer. 
Um, I like Joyce Meyer, so if you don't, I apologize, but I do. So, we have the power of the word, moving forward, the Holy Spirit, bold, confident, and courageous, how to handle temptation, burnt, not bitter, the cause and cure for worry, the Lord is my shepherd, Psalm 23, God is not mad at you, overcome the enemy with God's truth, my favorite scriptures, letting go and living free, and then up here, this one is called the law of gradual gradual growth um i'm not gonna lie i haven't read uh watched or listened to any of these yet <laughs> i just have so much <laughs> that i want to get through but it's ridiculous so moving this over we have more dvds over here so this one is setting things straight uh i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to see that but it's setting things straight can you guys see it it might be a little blurry you can't really tell but yeah joyce meyer um, then we have Son of God. I love this. Um, this is based off of the Netflix show. I don't know what it's called. Oh my gosh. What is the Netflix show called? Mm, you guys know what the show is, right? I can't think of the name of the show, but it's on Netflix. The, there's one that's called AD and then there's another one. I think it's called the Bible. Is it called the Bible? It probably is called the Bible. Um, but if, this, if it's called the Bible, these are basically the um, videos that talked about Jesus himself from the time he was born to the uh, resurrection. So I found this at Dollar Tree for a dollar. It's a Blu-ray disc. So there's a Blu-ray and a DVD in there, which I thought was awesome. Plus, they also had the code in there for the ultraviolet. So yeah, I love that show so much on Netflix. I have completed the Bible. I just need to watch um, AD, but I just, I don't really care for AD as much, but I'm going to get into it again. Um, anyways, we have, oops, this discover the word team favorites. This is literally just a flash drive with a bunch of like uh, sessions on here. Healing the Soul of a Woman, Marriage, Parables, and then in, I'm sorry, The Word in You, all by Joyce Myers. Some of them are DVDs, some of them are strictly CDs, but we have those. Then lastly over here, we have all of my um, sort of Our Daily Bread DVDs all the way over here. So this one is In the Pursuit of Paul. This one is In the Pursuit of Peter the Apostle, both by Dr. Constantine Campbell. There is another one called In the Pursuit of John, which I actually just requested. So I'm waiting on that to come in the mail because it's going to go right here. I'm going to move this one when it comes. Um, we have The Prayer Coin by Alicia Morgan, which goes with the book. We have Cling by Kim Cash Tate. Loved it. Love it so much. It is amazing. We have Along the Road and Land Without Borders. Oh my God, who is the author? What is his name? John A. Beck. So they go with the book. I own the book for one and then I have the ebook for the other. I don't know which ones. Um, we have Resilient, which is by, I don't know. Who is it by? Sheridan Boise. Sh Sheridan Boise? Boise? I don't know. Um, we have Awakening. This one is hosted by Sheridan, but it has a bunch of like other people featured on it. It's from the Gospel Here and Now series. We have Our Daily Bread, The Seven Churches of Revelation, which I just hauled. We have Discover the Bible Land and then My Search for Messiah. So those are all of the kind of like DVD audio things that I have on this top shelf. And I just have to show you guys one more book because I almost forgot. But this book here is called Open Door Living by Jen Schmidt. Um, this to me is like I consider it to be like a recipe book though there are other things in this book um there are a lot of different like recipes so this talks about food and feasting you know it talks about how to set up a table a brunch tray which i think is so great that they do that they give you basic pantry checklist i'm not sure if you guys can see that um simple meal ideas look at this you know a pizza party how to make the pizza the sauce the toppings um you know tells you ideas like chicken stir fry beef or chicken enchiladas or burritos um, there are recipes, here we go, two ingredient homemade sherbet, um, a Asian pork tenderloin, then it talks about cleaning and de decluttering, so I'm considering this to be a, uh, recipe book, but I have it up here. So yeah, let's just put everything back, and again, that is the first row. Okay, so here is the next row on the shelf, and this row contains all of my Bible studies. So right here we have my Google Home Mini, which I put back in the box. So I need to take it out the box and put it somewhere in my room, but I don't know where. 
I have this picture frame. It has a picture of my grandmother from the funeral. Then it just has the scripture James 1 19 through 20, which says, Be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Anger does not produce the righteousness God desires. The frame I got from Dollar Tree. Um, and then I also have my wax warmer here, which I do put on right now. It's not, so I'll just move it down. Um, on top of here, I do have my candle lighter just because I needed it out of the way of my son. But these are all of the Bible studies that I own, the physical ones that I own. So, starting over here, we're going to get into Lifeway ones. So, I have the Armor of God and Jonah, both by Priscilla Shire. Jonah was actually sent to me from Stephanie, which, uh, thank you so much, Stephanie. I haven't gotten into it yet, but I can't wait to dive into it. I have gotten into the Armor of God. I just haven't finished it. Um, then we have uh, the Battle Plan for Prayer, which goes with the book that I just did the review on. But um, it's by Stephen and Alex Kendrick. We have Seamless by Angie Smith, Started, Then Complete, Open Your Bible by Rachel Myers and Amanda Bible Williams, which are the creators of um, She Reads Truth, Started It, Didn't Finish It. <laughs> we have Finding I Am by Lisa Turkers. My son's father got this for me because I really, really wanted it. Um, so he bought it for me. The next few, I received all of these via review because they come from Moody Publisher. I do work with Moody Publisher, so that's how I acquired these, but I highly do recommend them. So we have Lies Women Believe Study Guide by Nancy DeMoss Wilgameth. Then we have Lies Young Women Believe the Study Guide by Nancy DeMoss Wilgameth and Donna Grush. So I've done this one with my sister. I haven't personally written in mind, but we have complete. We have done this. Um, we have The Unexplainable Church and An Unexplainable Life, both by, I think it's Arago Wiggenhorn, if I'm not mistaken. We have This I Know and I Am Found by Laura Dingman. We have Who Do You Say That I Am by Becky Harlan. Included in Christ, this is a, an Ephesian study, and I'm not sure her name, but I know her last name is Holloman. Let's look at the back of it. The front, I mean. Um, Heather. We have a study on Colossians. This is He Is Enough. I can never pronounce this lady's name for any reason whatsoever. Ashertia. I, I don't know. I don't want to butcher her name. But um, it'll be on the screen, her name. <laughs> this is a study of Colossians. And, oh, Unexplainable Life and Unexplainable Church are both studies on Acts. Um, Unexplainable Life is on Acts 1 through 12, and then Unexplainable Church is on um, Acts 13 to 28. But then we have If God is for Us by Trillia Newbell, which is a Romans 8 study. I'm currently doing this study right now. Then we have His Last Words by Erica. W uh, no, this is not Erica. Who is this? Kim Erickson. Um, and it is on John 13 to 17. So those were all from Moody Publisher. On top of those, I just have these two journals, which I'm probably going to give away. I've had these now for two years, um, and I haven't used them yet. They're both creative journals, so we have 30 Days to Joy, 30 Days to Peace. They're basically um, creative, like, art journals, and, you know, it just tells you how is joy different from happiness. You know, who are people that bring you joy and brighten your day. Use the two pictures to depict joyful memories. So, um, I have one on joy, one on peace. I may just give them both away because I haven't been using them and I've had it for two years and I don't want to just keep it there. But, um, then we get into the rest of the studies that I've purchased. So, we have The Best Yes by Lisa Turkus, Uninvited by Lisa Turkus. I've done Uninvited, loved it. Um, 12 More Women of the Bible and 12 Women of the Bible. This is compiled by, what is her name? Sherry Harney, but it includes teachings from various women like Lisa Turkers, Alicia, um, Alicia Morgan, Alisa Morgan, I think that's how you say her name. And it just goes through 20, there basically goes through 24 different women of the Bible. So I have one and two. Um, then we have the Daniel Prayer by Anne Graham Lotz. I need to get into that like ASAP. We have Becoming Mom Strong, the Bible study by Heidi St. John. We have Enough of Me by Priscilla Peters. I did receive this for review. Um, we have 30 Life Principles by Charles F. Stanley. We have In All Things, um, by, what is her name? Melissa B. Kruger. This is a nine-week devotional on Uncheckable Joy. It's a study of Philippians. I did get an arc of this. Um, so, yeah. Moving on, we have, uh, Captivating. 
Yes, Captivating the Participant Participant Guide by John and Stacey Eldridge. And then we have uh, the Focus on Family kind of series. I think I'm only missing like one or two of the different studies. But uh, the Marriage series is what it's called. But we have the Surprising Marriage, the Abundant Marriage, the Fighting Marriage, the Model Marriage, the Masterpiece Marriage, the Giving Marriage, the Covenant Marriage, the Passionate Marriage, and the Communicating Marriage. I think there was one called Blended Marriage or Blended Family one. I didn't get that because I didn't think I needed it. Um, then I have three studies from Neil T. Anderson, um, which are studies five, six, and eight. So five is growing in Christ. Six is your life in Christ. And then eight is your ultimate victory. This is a series. I only have these three because I got them on sale from ChristianBook.com. I actually got all of these on sale from ChristianBook.com. I have Letting Go and Living Free from Joyce Myers. This is just a journal, but I keep it there. Then we have the American Bible Challenge by Troy Schmidt. Um, it's just a game, basically, in which you can, like, use to study. I have, I have Becoming the Woman God Wants Me to Be by, I don't remember her name, <laughs> Donna P Parto. My mom had got this for me because I really wanted a copy. Then we have the studies that I have from Hendrickson's which I probably shouldn't be showing you two of these because I just got them. But I've done forgiveness and recon reconciliation, simplicity and silence, and then fasting and stewardship you guys have seen. But the two new ones that I have that I'm going to do a video on are going to be on service and mentoring and then solitude and contemplation. So these are the two new ones that I actually have to do a video on. So I need to take these off the shelf and put them over here. Okay. Making sure we're still good in camera. All right. Then we have Galatians Break Away to Freedom by Sarah L. Hollow Howell? Howell? I don't know. Unshakable Hope, the promises the promise book by Max Lucado. Goliath Must Fall. I love this book so much. Goliath Must Fall by um Louis Giglio. Oh my god, this book is so amazing. I have not finished the study whatsoever. Um I think I only got to session three. Yeah, I got up to session to and completed i haven't finished it but i did read the book and i love the book so much oh that book is so good so we have that i need to finish that um then i have the purple book which i think i randomly found this on um christianbook.com one day and it looked really good and um i liked what it offered so it's biblical foundations for building strong disciples and i think i actually need to get into this now that i'm um working on some things within ministry so i probably should dive into this really soon then we have this coloring bible study on ruth by eugene h peterson it says draw in bible study so it's a study of ruth but there's also little bits and pieces you can color which i think is great i love coloring i mean who doesn't love coloring this would be fun to do just because i love the book of ruth anyway then i have these two from our daily bread um jesus's blueprint for prayer which i did it previously but i was joking like i was playing around when i did it so i need to redo it and focus i think this is a brand new copy because i threw out my copy that i did yeah this is a new one and then i have simon peter a rock moved by god by bill crowder this one is by hayden robinson and then we have some more so we have God Breathed by Josh McDowell. This goes to the actual book. I don't own the book, so I need to get that. Then I have She Did What She Could, Study Guide by Alicia Morgan. I'm probably saying her name wrong. I always say Alicia. Alyssa? It probably is. I don't know. I'm sorry for butchering your name. But this goes with the book. Um, and then I have this Colossians and Philemon uh, 30 Day Daily Insights by Mike Rader from Journey Through. So it's literally just a 30 day devotional on um colossians and philemon and you know it goes through the scriptures and stuff like that so we have that here okay so over here i have my nine fruits of the spirit by robert strand i found these at dollar tree but i think he has an actual book that you can find probably on amazon but um it's supposed to be nine i have nine books here but there's only eight because i gave my mom the one on peace so i have love joy um i have another copy of joy because i switched with my mom because she was missing peace so i need to actually write that down and remember i need to get peace but um patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control so they're just individual studies on each of those fruits of the spirits and then up here i just have three blank um photo albums that i eventually do want to fill up what i'm thinking about doing is printing out some of you guys's um like beautiful comments that you've sent me and sticking them in there just for my personal um just for personal use, just to remember, because I think they're so sweet. And then I have another one of my cups from um, Discover the Word, because I love this mug. So that is what is on this shelf. 
all right guys so we're on to the third shelf and the quality has changed tremendously because i'm using my regular cell phone to record this my camera both batteries are dead i'm charging one now and then my other cell phone i normally record with is also dead it's on one percent so i have to use my cell phone because i really want to record this video for you guys so we're on to the third shelf so we did the first one we did the second one and now we're on to the third and this third shelf literally houses most of my bibles i may be missing like five or six bibles from this shelf only because i have them elsewhere but um yeah these are all the bibles so you're gonna see them so right now we have this gold asani mirror it's one of those mirrors that come with the lights on them i'm not gonna open it but um it's really nice i like using this then I have this card uh, photo from my grandmother's funeral. And then I have this sign which just says kindness is always free. I got this from Dollar Tree. Then I just have this little tiny jar with um, little pebbles that I use to take like book photos and stuff. But um, yeah, so starting out, I guess at the top, we have the words be study Bible. Um, I have the gospel transformation study Bible. And then I have this journal that says notes and i use this when i'm doing like online bible studies i'm using this specifically for any studies that i'm doing with kim cash tate so we did i did um the james and ruth study with her so i just have my notes in here from that and i keep it there my new king james study bible and then my niv um just basic bible then we go into all the other ones <laughs> so we have the worldview study bible that one is upside down sorry um the box for the nkj spirit filled bible i actually have that one out by my bed because i use this one a lot more same thing with the women's study bible i have this one outside of the box by my bed because those are the two bibles like i use when i'm studying the most the women's study bible uh by holman this was the hcsb translation they do have the new one which is a csb so this is the updated version of that but this one came in lavender and blush love that one so much i use it for devotionals uh when i do like my our daily bread ones haven't done those in a minute so i need to get back into that we have my archaeological study bible from crossway in the esv like i said this is the updated translation of the hcsb study bible so this is the study bible for women just it's the same literally the same bible just updated translation um the everyday matters bible for women by hendrickson the aw tozer bible in the king james the illuminated bible art journaling bible from um crossway the story of redemption bible from crossway i'm actually using this bible to study joshua in i am loving joshua i'm probably gonna do like a study with me when i'm when i study joshua again because i i love it um my she reach truth bible in the box uh i had to get it in the poppy but the go it is just gorgeous um pray the scripture bible this is in the king james i believe um, my thompson chain reference the ancient modern bible this bible i use when i'm reading books um every now and then and then my esb single column journaling bible which you can't see because it's like black but it's right here um but yeah that is on that shelf okay on to the fourth row this literally houses majority of the books that I'm probably not going to read anytime soon just because I have a lot more books that I want to read. But <laughs> this is like the overflow, I guess, of things that I'm going to read. So real quick, just for decoration, I have my son's rubble as well as his chase uh, teddy bears there. He put them there. He likes them on my shelf. Um, he takes them off when he's home, but when he's away on the weekends, like right now, what is that? He tells me to put it on my shelf. So we just have cute little rubble and chase. And then I have another one of those picture frames from Dollar Tree with um, James 3.5. A tiny spark can set a great forest on fire. So we have that there. Then we have a whole bunch of books I need to eventually read. Um, so in front, we have the Family Bible Devotional. We have Let God Be God. We have Rediscovering the Real Lost Gospel. How to Be a Perfect Christian. I heard this was very, very comical, so I'm probably going to read this soon um misunderstanding scripture with western eyes the confident woman by joyce meyer seeing the heart of christ by bill crowder survivor i don't even know who this is by but it's the story of tragedy guilt and grace by that person <laughs> um preaching by the book uh i need to actually read this like asap and then adamant by lisa beveray i literally just have this one here because we literally just scratched this book for book club for daughter of increase <laughs> so yeah, I just have it sitting there because I didn't put it back on the shelf properly. But um, let me move these out of the way because I do have books behind that. 
and then here we go so i'm not gonna run through all of these because there's just way too many but i will say i am interested in the god impulse which is at the bottom by alexander i am also interested in reading will winning the battle which is right here for your mind will and emotions i'm interested in that um this one is a college student book this one is like a high school student book um but yeah these are some of the books here that are on the shelf let me just put these back before we go on to the next part I, tr I try to understand how people do bookshelf tours it's like so hard <laughs> especially when it's one person um here are some other books these are just some girls guides um but yeah move that out the way so yeah i'm interested in this one superheroes can't save you i really want to read this one so bad as well as the return i do want to read that it's really pretty there are some like illustrations and like journal entries in there glory carries i'm interested in reading here's some at the top um this one is my first lady's book questions for jesus this is one of her three books she has three books out this is one i think this was the last book she came out with actually um i think that's the only one i haven't actually read as of yet so i need to actually catch up on that mere hope i do want to read as well it's such a pretty cover and then over here on this side oh again i'm sorry that this video looks like this um so bear with me you guys this is a complicated video to make because <laughs> i have so many books but um yeah i think i'm interested in reading most of these um what about kids ministry the air i breathe by louis giglio living the psalms life i'm interested in reading um am i enough i'm interested in reading silence and insecurity welcome to adulting and bloom um yeah, and then we have my Joyce Meyer books. Uh, well, the ones that I'm not, like, pressed to read right now. So, Living a Life You Love, Living Beyond Your Feelings, Living Courageously, You Can Begin Again, and Do Yourself a Favor, Forgive. So, yeah. That is that shelf. And then the fifth shelf is my son's shelf. I will show you guys that quickly because I do keep his, like, Christian books down here. It's a little messy, I know. But I literally have all of, like, his little children's Bibles and stuff down here. This Bible is not for him. This Bible right here in that little white box, that's actually for my future child. Um, it's a baby Bible, and I am hopeful to have second or possibly third kid in the future. Um, so we have that there just for now. And then everything else over here <laughs> literally is, like, my nonfiction books. So, like, I have Becoming by Michelle Obama. I have a Steve Harvey book there. I have a Damien... I don't even know who that... Damien John book, I think that's his name. I think that's the guy who created FUBU. Is that him? Yes, this guy. He was the creator of FUBU. If I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on that. Oh, no, I can't put it back. Whatever, can't put it back. <laughs> but we have that, sorry. And then I have some coloring books because I do like to color. And then, yeah, my son's stuff. So this bottom shelf is literally my son's Christian stuff, some nonfiction and coloring books. So we have an overflow of books here that I will eventually read. They're just, I'm not pressed to read, except for things like on this side. Then we have all of my Bibles, all of my Bible studies, and then all of like my resource reference stuff. So let's move on to the next bookshelf. Okay, so this is my little mini black bookshelf that literally keeps my tv on top and um this is where i keep majority of the books that i will get into within a few months i'll say so um right here we have two books this is literally the same copy of books which is hilarious because i wasn't expecting to get approved so one of the books i got for a bookstagram kind of takeover tour which is where i just take a photo of the book and just tell you guys about the book the second one i got for a blog tour which requires me to reread the book now i've read this book already i had an arc of it last year i was a part of the launch team so yeah <laughs> so i have this copy here which is the one i'm currently reading let me show you guys if i can yeah, like this is the one I'm currently like rereading and that light is just so crazy. There we go. 
So this is the one I'm currently rereading. And within here, I have two notes from the author and publisher. So I'm going to keep this one. But I will be giving this one away in my Mother's Day giveaway. It's called The Brave Art of Motherhood by Rachel Marie Martin. I have read this one already. It is a phenomenal book. Um, as I said, I have an art copy, which you'll see later. But um, I have read this book. I love this book so much. It's really good. And I, the first time I read it, I didn't annotate. Because you guys know my method. When I get review books, I like read them really quickly just to get my... Um, initial thoughts out and to get the review out for its set date but then I eventually go back and annotate and um you know mark up so I am loving it again a second time through it's amazing so we do have this here which I already will I'll be putting this in my mother's day giveaway but um I'm not gonna sit here and go through all of these books that are here get this focus because there's too many books on this shelf but um these books over here from this book which is when god's way make no sense all the way to ruth hope you guys can see ruth in the little corner she had and these are all books that i've thoroughly read and annotated now don't get me wrong i've read most of the books on my shelf however i haven't annotated them so these books are all the ones that i've annotated all the ones that i love so we have when god's ways make no sense by dr larry crabb lies young women believe by um, nancy wilgameth and donna gresh a Woman's Guide to Spiritual Warfare. Love this. Running from Mercy, which is a book study on the book of Jonah. The Battle Plan for Prayer by Stephen and Alex Kendrick. Fervent by Priscilla Shire. The Woman of Easter by Liz Curtis Higgs. Anywhere Faith by Heather C. King. Cling. Yes, you do see two copies of Cling because I am obsessed with this book. Um, so we have Cling. Both are annotated. Both are tabbed up. Like both of them, you guys. This was the second time I read it through and the first time there were like little tiny high I'm trying to find a page with enough like this was the first time I like read it through without really any thought to it but then when I got my highlighting highlighting when I got my annotating um down pack thanks to my sis um from transform through God's word Angela <laughs> after I saw her video I really switched up um the way I did my annotating when I read my like my non-fictions and um I just had to get a new copy so that's why um love unending by becky thomas love that one uh the way of the warrior enjoyed that how to pray L enjoyed it <laughs> this is one of my first ladies books uh woman sorry wisdom of the bible and then we have esther and ruth um both by michelle mclean walters i know that hannah just came out so i need to get hannah but i do still have the other two or three to read um then we have when we say father by adrian rogers and steve rogers unlocking the power of the lord's prayer so, like I said, these are all the books that I've, like, read and annotated. And then we're going to get into the other books that um, I eventually want to read. These are not, like, high immediately on my list because I do have one more shelf to show you guys before I get into, like, my fictional books. But um, these are the ones that will be picked from once that shelf is empty up top. So, this I have here. And I know it looks crazy. I do have a Michael Kors bag here with a Michael Kors wallet and a Mark New York um, wallet inside. I kept the bag because it was my first designer purchase. I actually purchased it um, on my own when we were in Tennessee. And um, yeah, it was my first designer purchase. So that's why I kept the bag. I know that seems crazy. I know it seems ridiculous. But I did. I will eventually throw the bag out with probably within a few days. Um, but until I use the wallets, I just keep them inside the bag. Um, and no, I didn't pay full price. We went to an outlet. So <laughs> when I went to the outlet, they were having a great deal of percentages off. So, yeah. But anyways, these are books that I definitely want to read. Um, so let's move this up and over. Can you guys see? Hopefully. This is like terrible. I apologize for the quality of this video. But, um, all right. So we have David by Charles Swindle, which I do want to dive into because I'm currently, uh, well, actually, we're not doing David, right? Are we doing David? No, we're doing Solomon, I think. I don't know. We're studying Kings. I think Kings is more so about Solomon than Samuel was about David. But for BSF, we studied um, Kings and Solomon. Oh, we studied Kings and um, Samuel. So after I like was able to read through the book of First and Second Samuel, I learned so much from David. And David is just a funny man. He was a man after God's own heart, but he definitely had made a lot of foolish mistakes. So definitely want to get into this, especially because I do enjoy Charles Swindle. Um, then we have some other books here. Some of them that I'm really interested in is Raising Giant Killers. I read an arc of this, an e-arc of it, but I got a physical copy just because this book is so pretty. It is so pretty. <laughs> so, yeah. It's by Bill Johnson and Benny Johnson. 
um devotional yes why not this one is on the complete gospel of john you guys know how i feel about the gospel of john <laughs> so we have that um sun stand still by stephen furtick sorry if you guys heard that oh okay let's put that on mute <laughs> but um stephen furtick is the pastor of uh oh god what is his church name oh what is this church? elevation church <laughs> so yeah we have that um fixing my eyes on jesus by A. and Graham Lotz. It's a devotional. A lot of these are basically devotionals. We have The Prayer Coin by Alicia Morgan. Haven't done that one yet, but it's there. Um, Words of Grace, a devotional. The Kindness Challenge, Whisper by Mark Batterson. Then this is Prayer and Planning for the Big Day. It's like um, a woman's kind of devotional prayer book for her wedding day. Um, then I have Sick of Me up here, which I need to read. I've heard it's really good. The Power of Christian Contentment and Assurance. You little guys literally just saw this in a book call. I actually need to move Sick of Me and put it on my other shelf, but I will eventually. But that is the first row on that shelf. So let's move down to the next one. Okay, the second shelf or the second row on this shelf. Um, more books here. I don't even know um, what books I can show you guys. So right here, this is Easter is Coming. This is my son's book, but I really do like it because it has like holographic on here. I'm not sure if you guys let me even see it. Yeah, right there. There's like little bits of holographic glitter. Yes, I really love this. So I have it here. I do have to haul this though. So yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see if I can turn this a little bit brighter so you guys can see. There we go. Might be a little extra, but what else? Um, so I'm just going to point out a few that I'm enjoying or that I've started to read because there's too many. So I'm really interested in the beauty. I'm sorry, Beauty Begins by Chris Shook and Megan Shook Alpha. That sounds like it's going to be really good as well as Finding Your Brave. Thirsty for more. Um, more than these gay girl good god i'm looking forward to here's land without borders by john a beck that goes with the actual dvd i showed you guys earlier um our help devotional spread too thin devotional god is great that is the other book i think that was the first book that my first lady came out with i read it last whew, i read it years ago but i don't remember it so i need to reread it <laughs> um so yeah redeemed by will graham is really good um life-changing prayers praying god's promise i mean these are all good preparing your heart for marriage is really really good like i really do enjoy this this is kind of like a engaged couples devotional oh it is devotions for engaged couples <laughs> duh by gary thomas it is so good let me fix this light so you guys are not blinded but um it's so good so so good oh my gosh i love it so much um putting that back praying the promises by max Lucado. one year uh devotional is called worship the king haven't started that great is thy faithfulness from our daily bread um the inspiration for girlfriends i have started that let me just move you guys up a bit i have started this devotional i've been on and off with this devotional for some time let me open it and um show you guys so like i definitely did start Ugh. lighting is gonna be sucky i apologize again i didn't think this through there we go um but yeah i did start this one but i don't think i got yeah i, I didn't get that far i probably did like 10 days <laughs> but it is good um but yeah fake or follower i'm definitely interested in whisper and wild whispers and wildflowers grace in the valley faith for this moment and then we have some other like things down there so yep here we have some more devotional so this is i think this one is so cool it's a devotional it's a one-year devotional like the other two here from the same company but this one is set like this so that you can um travel with it if you guys can see that so it's really really nice um moving on Sorry about this, you guys. Um, we have some more devotionals here. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for this shelf. <laughs> this is a terrible video. I apologize. <laughs> Let's move to the next one. Okay, so here's the final kind of row on this shelf. And it's a weird angle because I don't want to hold the camera. Um, and the lighting sucks. But, yeah, we have my Bible bag here, which is my newest Bible bag. 
it is fraying just a bit, unfortunately. The little uh, tassels are fraying. But um, it says bless. It is gorgeous with a little pom-pom on it. I've done a review on this. This is still the same size. I have not gotten the extra large size yet. But um, it works because I keep my um, uh, one of my, uh, my other Bibles in here. This is the Expressions Bible from Hendrickson that I did a review on. So it works. I keep that Bible in there and I take that Bible to church. I'll do an updated What's in My Bible Bag uh, video soon. But um, yeah, more devotionals. Again, this is like my secondary shelf. The shelf that I previously showed you with the other books is like my tertiary, tertiary shelf. But um, this one literally houses majority of my devotionals that are like on the smaller end. So right here we have all of like my tiny devotionals and prayer books. I'm not going to go through all of these because there's just so many. Um, and then back here, I'll see if I can pull it out. I have all of the arcs that I have received. So um, these are all arcs that I've ever received that are unfinished copies of books. Um, some of these I do have finished copies of, like The Brave Art of Motherhood, I have a finished copy of. The Baggage Handler, I have a finished copy of. 31 Proverbs to Lighten Your Pro your Path, I have a finished copy of. As well as Loving, uh, Love Unending, I do have finished copies of those four books. So I just keep my arcs down here. For personal reference, that's just where I want my arcs. And an ARC, for those who don't know, is an advanced reader copy. So it's just a copy of a book that um, is kind of like the almost finished draft of the book, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's move on. The rest of these are all of like my smaller devotionals. So the ones that I'm interested in are this, these right here. So 365 devotions to love God and love others. 100 Days with Jesus. I really love this one so much because of the photography in here. It's just like really cute photography photos. Like they really did some amazing photography. So I really, really love that. And um, I really want to get into this. It's a daily glimpse into the person of Christ. So I need to actually move this to my other shelf soon. Um, we have 365 devotions for a thankful heart. The declarations and prayers for the woman of God by Michelle McLean Walters. This pretty, pretty one from Our Daily Bread. It's just so gorgeous. It's lavender. My favorite color. Um, I have the Nehemiah Code, which is like a book study on the book of Nehemiah. Um, I have all of my Our Daily Bread 90 Day Devotionals all here. Then I have like other little devotionals as well from Barbara. Um, the Names of God, The Prayers of the Bible, Trusting God, uh, Prayers for Difficult Times, Jesus Always. Then I have Our Daily Bread, God Hears Her. Um, I think that's 365 Pocket Prayers for Mothers, which is right here. Jesus Lives. That one, the blue one, is 365 Pocket Promises, and yeah, so that's that shelf. Okay, so here is my tall black bookshelf where I keep all of, like, my fictional novels at, but the first row is dedicated to the Christian books that I want to read, like, ASAP. So these are, like, my specific TBR to-be-read books, like, immediately need to read. So... Decoration wise, I have just some things from my son because, you know, I'm a mom. So he gave me his little Marshall and Chase toy. So I keep Marshall with his little firefighter hat over here. Chase over there. This says Love Never Fails. Got it from Dollar Tree. And then this little car. I think he got this from McDonald's, but it's a girly little car. So he gave it to me and I keep it here. <laughs> um, I also have Zuma Sky. And some other stuff, but I keep it on my other bookshelves. So, yeah. So, right here we just have things like I immediately want to get to. Um, let's see if I can brighten this just a bit for you guys. It is a little dull. Okay. So, in this corner, I have the Mind Connection. You're not going to be able to see it. Let me see if I can turn this a little bit. So, I have my Joyce Meyer books that I really like immediately want to read. I have the Mind Connection, um, Healing the Soul of a Woman in Unshakable Trust. I immediately want to read. Um, then I have lies men believe, lies women believe, um, and then I also have lies little girls believe coming, so that will go on this shelf. As you guys know, I have already read lies young women believe, that's why that's not on this shelf. Um, in the front, I just have my two anointing books from Michelle McLean Walter, so I have Deborah and Anna, which I still need to read. You can add Hannah to this list as well, because when I get Hannah, it'll go up here. Um, Make Your Voice Heard in Heaven. This was written by 
let's move this down the chaplain of the united states um the united states senate sorry so yeah barry c black i read it but again i didn't fully read it and annotate it so i definitely want to go back in because this is very amazing like i love it um how to be a christian by c.s lewis and then she did what she could by alicia morgan like i said i'm probably butchering her name i apologize um i have this devotional here which is called god's call to a deeper life i keep it here because it's like really really pretty i haven't read it yet but it's like the most prettiest devotional i've ever seen in my life it is a rose gold foiling so yeah keep that there for decoration because it's gorgeous um but anyway we have pathways by tony evans um sarah jake's colliding with destiny it's okay not to be okay by sheila walsh i think that's how you say her name um us against the world by david and tamala man love like you've never been hurt Ah, oh, I need to read this soon. Possessing the Gates of the Enemy by Cindy Jacobs. Um, I'm sorry. Love Like You've Never Been Hurt. The author is him. Gentizen Franklin. I can never pronounce his name, so that's why I don't. So we have that there. This notebook goes to a Bible study that I'm doing. Um, that's actually on my rolling cart, so I need to actually put that over there where it belongs um yeah girls with swords by lisa beberay battlefield of the mind by joyce meyer no more sheets by Juanita bynum bynum this is actually my cousin's copy we've i've had this book for so long i need to actually take it to her like soon <laughs> um but she moved to va but we have discerning the voice of god by priscilla shire suffering is never for nothing by elizabeth elliott lead me holy spirit by stormy ormondson i actually did start reading this if you guys can see like i started tabbing it but I think this was when I was still, yeah, I was still trying to get a hang of my um, annotating method for, you know, Christian nonfiction. So I need to finish this up. It was really good, though, from what I was reading. Um, freedom. Bless your husband. Love defined. Why her? Remember God. Courageous woman of the Bible. Let's move this this way. In the front here, we have my C.S. Lewis Signature Classics collection. I need to read this. They sent this to me for review. I wanted the individual box set, but they sent me the bind up, so I need to at least read two of these, like, ASAP. Um, a Cloud by Day and Night. I'm sorry. A Cloud by Day, Fire by Night by A.W. Tozer. This is a bind up. This is The Knowledge of Holy, The Pursuit of God, and God's Pursuit of Man by A.W. Tozer. Um, two devotionals from A.W. Tozer, Morning and Evenings, and then Prayers for the Battlefield um, by Heidi, Heidi St. John. So we have those um where did i leave off? okay so we have growing forward begin again finding the love of jesus from genesis to revelation sacred holiday this is such a good book oh my god i love this book so much okay anyways a life of lovely by annie f downs moments till midnight this is a study of second timothy or first timothy um second timothy yeah second timothy um a leader's wife, 12 Extraordinary Women, and, oh, I don't have the other one. So, yeah, 12 Extraordinary Women by John MacArthur. Um, Less Than Perfect by Ann Spangler. Unexpected by Anthony Evans. Read it, but I need to reread it and annotate it. Anthony Evans is the brother of Priscilla Shire and the son of Tony Evans. Um, Taylor Made. I've heard so many people rave about this, so I got it. The Best Yes by Lisa Turkus. I got this because I have the Bible study. I did have it. Okay, so, yeah. So, we have 12 Extraordinary Women, and then we have 12 Ordinary Men by John MacArthur. Um, this is One Month to Love, Captivating, Nothing to Prove, which I did have an arc of. So, I have a finished copy of it. I don't know what happened to the arc. I think I'm okay with my mother. Um, Seven Mile Miracle by Stephen Furtick. Gospel-Centered Mom. And then we have A Woman Jesus Can Use. A Woman God Can Use. There is another one, which is A Woman the Holy Spirit Can Guide, I think. When I get the physical copy of that, that'll be up here on the shelf. So, these are the books that go on this shelf. Let's see if I can make it pretty again. <laughs> while you guys are on camera because i'm making a hot mess again i know you guys are probably going to be like it's okay <laughs> with how the video is but um this is not how i planned to make this video but my cameras are all bugging out on me so we're gonna just make do with what we can so yeah that is the shelf of like my immediate reads oh and then i have 31 proverbs to light your path i literally just told you guys i had the arc so here's the finished copy of it can't wait to dive into that so now we're going to move on to the 
second to last place I have to show you books. <laughs> okay, guys, I know this area is looking a little crazy. I apologize, but <laughs> yeah, it's crazy over here. Um, so over here, back here, I have some more books. So this vase is just flowers I use for like my book photos on my bookstagram account. But again, like I said, I have more things here. So I have He Calls You Beautiful, which is what that journal actually goes to. That is a study of Song of Solomon. So that's what this journal goes with. So there we go. Um, then I have my goddess faithful devotional, which I've been reading for some time. Priscilla Shire Awaken, which I'm reading. The Emotional Healthy Leader by Peter Scazzaro, which is my church assignment or assigned reading. The Morning and Evening Prayer Book, which I've been reading through. Um, this is my devotional Bible for women, which I read through my prayer journal. Jesus Calling, the pink edition. Um, then I have this one, which is Strength for Every Moment by T.D. Jakes, which is really, really good. And then I have this, which is the Daily Question Spiritual Journal. So I just keep those there on the shelf. And then I have my planners and stuff on this little cart. This is a little rolling cart. I'm getting another one um, that's going to be in rose gold. So when I get my rose gold one, I'll show you guys how it's set up because this one is a hot mess right now. So let's move on to my next bookshelf. All right. So this is the last bookshelf and I only have two rows to show you guys on this bookshelf. So this first row has all of my biblical fictions minus that last one. But um, we have Tosca Lee Iscariot, which you guys can't see. So I will take that one out for you guys to see. This is a novel of Judas. So we have this one. Then we have oh, this beautiful thing. Redeeming Love. Oh, my God. You guys have told me to read this. I read it. I loved it so so much. I read the ebook, bought a physical copy because it was so beautiful. I can't wait to reread and annotate because this book made me cry. It is a historical retelling of the story of Hosea and Gomer. So yes, hence why she's wearing this historical dress on her. Can't wait. This takes place in, um, ooh, what is it called? California Gold Country. So in 1850. Yes. So, so good. Oh, love this so much. Um, then we have... Journey to the Well, haven't read it yet. Queen of Sheba, was sent a copy of that for review, have yet to read it. I need to actually take that off the shelf and make sure I read it immediately. Oh, pray for me, guys. <laughs> um, we have Slender Reads, we have The Robe, Return to Me, Gods and Kings, Beth Sheba and Delilah. Love Delilah. Oh, well, I gave it a four star rating, but the cover. Just know we have um, makeup tutorials coming on this channel and a lot of the makeup tutorials I do are going to be based off of some of these book covers because I could do some things with this purple like yes honey yes um but yes <laughs> we have that one I have read that the ones I read I'll let you guys know um Egypt's sister Jerusalem's queen love amid the ashes by Misu Andrews I have read I did enjoy I gave it four stars this is the story of Job and the story of Dina combined it was really really interesting I gave it four stars I tabbed up the first like quarter of it and then the the rest of it I didn't tab up but I think I did like make some markings no I did I uh, that's a good question I don't know but I didn't tab it so yeah four star book for me it was good um Pharaoh's daughter by Misu Andrews, Isaiah's Daughter, and A Fire and Lions, oh, both by Misu Andrews. You guys, Isaiah's Daughter is amazing. There is a sequel she is coming out with. I cannot wait for the sequel. I am dying for it. This is, uh, it is so beautiful. It talks about uh, the prophet Isaiah, obviously, as well as um, King Hezekiah, starting off as like a kid. It is so beautiful. I loved it. I loved it so much. And then A Fire and Lions, just as beautiful um it is the story of the book of daniel complete book of daniel and it tells the perspective the story from the perspective of daniel's wife if he would have had a wife no one really knows if he had a wife because i don't think they mention it in the bible but um yeah it is beautiful beautiful moving on if i can stick these back in without a problem i'll fix it later um let's move up a bit you know so you guys could get a little glorious view because we're coming to my favorite section which includes my favorite authors so we have Connie Lynn Cassette's first trilogy which is out from Egypt Counted with the stars shadow of the storm and wings of the wind haven't read them yet but this series here honey cities of refuge <laughs> a light on the hill book one loved it shelter of the most high book two loved it book three is coming out can't wait oh there's a book four coming <sighs> 
I just, I, I love it. It talks about the cities of refuge. It has really sparked an interest in me learning about the cities of refuge, like literally heavily studying the cities of refuge. So I loved it so much. They also have matching um, devotionals or reading plans on the Holy Bible app. So if you're on the Holy Bible app, literally just type in Connie Lynn Cassette and her devotionals will pop up. The same thing with Misu Andrews, her devotionals will pop up as well. Um, then we have my favorite, 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 favorite biblical fiction author ever. Like, favorite, you guys. I have literally rated most of her books a five star. I only haven't read two, which I'll tell you guys in a second. But we have Pearl in the Sand, which is my all-time favorite from Tessa Afshar. Like, my number one pick from her. I love it so much. It's definitely a tie between this and um, Redeeming Love as, like, my all-time number one biblical fiction. But Pearl in the Sand is so amazing. So amazing. We're actually doing this as a book club read for the Daughter of Increase Facebook group. So if you definitely want to join in that, definitely just comment down below. Um, we're going to be doing it in the group, reading the book three chapters a week from May to June. And it's going to be... Fun, 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 fun. Okay. Um, then we have In the Fields of Grace. I have read that. It's good. It's a story. Oh, sorry. Pearl in the Sand. I have not even told you guys. Pearl in the Sand is a story of my girl Rahab. Okay. The story of Rahab. I have read this um, in the ebook form. I literally started to reread it, <laughs> but I literally only got to chapter through chapter one. You guys can't even tell because of the lighting. There we go. So I literally, as you can see, I like annotated the mess. <laughs> I literally got through chapter one and forced myself to wait until we read this as a group with the DOI book club. But I have read it. I loved it so much. And um, I highly recommend this. This is like number one. Okay. So moving on to In the Fields of Grace. Again, I read the ebook of that before I purchased a physical copy. In the Fields of Grace is the story of Ruth. Um, the book of Ruth. Here it is. Then we have Harvest of Rubies and Harvest of Gold. It's a duology. And oh my God. This talks about the prophet Nehemiah and Darius. Um, Darius, I believe, was mentioned in the Bible, but I know we all know who the prophet Nehemiah is. So basically, this is a story of him. Uh, if he would have had a cousin who was a female scribe and her name is Sarah and she is so hilarious and Darius is so amazing and Nehemiah just fits so much knowledge like do you guys see the tabs on this book this is the first book do you do you see the tabs wait wait let's get the book two <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> you guys I first of all the covers let me just say the cover gorgeous right gorgeous but if this is what Darius looks like, just yes, yes, please. Just yes, okay? And uh, do you, you see them tabs, right? All right, I'm going to just leave it at that, okay? So, <laughs> oh my God, my books are messing up now. My books are messing up, guys. <laughs> okay so these four are her old testament series so i have read those already love them then we get into her new testament so the new testament the only one i read is thief of corinth i gave this four stars i really wasn't a fan of it this one does include um paul so did i did i even yeah i like tabbed it but you can see how many tabs are in here it didn't really interest me as much but um it was pretty good it was pretty good then we have the two that I didn't read from her from her New Testament series. Um, and I know she's working on another one. We'll just put this one to the side because I'll show you guys that next. But um, we have Bread of Angels, which I will be reading like soon. I wanted to read it this month, but I want to read it soon. And um, I'm probably going to do another reading blog uh, recording me reading this. So hopefully during my son's spring break, I can do a reading blog with me like reading this book within three days because i'm excited this one is the story of lydia who was a seller of the color purple so i'm excited for that and then we have land of silence which is like the one i'm dreading reading because so many of you guys have told me about it and it's sad and i don't want to be sad it's the story of the um woman with the issue of blood so we have that those are the only two of seven that i haven't completed i know that she is working on another one so I can't wait for that. Um, the last book on the shelf is The Mark of the Raven by Morgan Elbus. <sighs> Just, uh, there's no words. Um, this is the first book in the Ravenwood saga. This is not biblical fiction. This is more so Christian fantasy and it is so good. 
I marked it up. Um, I do have a arc of the second book, which is called Flight of the Raven, and I need to read that ASAP because it's going to be so good. I'm hoping that they do give out um, copies of book two. I did get this through Bethany. Hopefully they send an email out for book two because I really want it. Like, I really, really want it because it's so good. Um, but if you're looking for something that is christian fiction but not biblical but something that has fantasy aspects especially since i'm i'm a lover of like fantasy books i love fantasy and paranormal books um so that one was a shocker and i enjoyed it so much so those are all of my sort of christian fiction christian biblicals plus a christian fiction so let's move to the last shelf and then we'll be done Okay, so here's a live shelf, and these are basically going to be my other random, like, Christian fiction reads. They're not going to be biblical-based, but um, they're Christian clean reads and whatnot. So we have The Shack, which there is a movie to this, so I do want to read this and watch the movie in, like, a week. Um, we have Falling for You, which is book two in a... It's called The Bradford Sister Romance. So book three, I know, is either out now or it's coming out. I do own book one as an ebook. Um, we have American Omens, which is a... Oh, what is this? This is considered a sci-fi, I'm going to say. Um, then we have Infidel and Renegade by Ted Decker. They are books two and three in the Lost Book series. Tears of the Sea um, by Mary Lou Tindu. Apparently, this is a Christian book. I didn't know that. Um, it was classified as Christian. I did read this. It is really good. It is, it's interesting. I don't remember what, you know, I read because back then I wasn't really like underlining and stuff when I read this. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's classified as Christian fiction. So yeah, Glory Road is contemporary. A Soaking Thread is historical. Um, Here Burns My Candle and Mine is the Heart from Liz Curtis Higgs. These are historical I should probably have it on the other shelf because it's kind of like Redeeming Love where it's um, a biblical retelling. So Here Burns My Candle and Mine is the Night are from Liz Curtis Higgs and they are kind of historical retellings on the book of Ruth, if that makes sense. So I'm probably going to move them to the top just because I have Redeeming Love up there. So I might do that. I probably should do that, right? Yes. So I'm going to move these books up here. <laughs> All right. And then we have Sovereign by Ted Decker and Tosca Lee. I think this is book three in the book of mortals. Yeah, book three in book of mortals. Then we have The Baggage Handler, which is a magical realism cont contemporary. Um, Chaos and Elyon, which is our book four and five. Four and six, sorry, in the Lost Books by Ted Decker. Then we have Blessed by A.L. Bryant, which is... <laughs> oh, I don't even know how to it's, it's a supernatural read um it's very interesting this is a Christian like supernatural read um Valley of the Dry Bones which is a contemporary and then the Winter War by Priscilla Shire which is it's book four in her uh oh what is the name of the series oh gosh uh I can't remember the name of the series. It's one of her, it's a, it's a middle grade series, but it's book four, but it's technically a prequel, so it'd be like a point five book, but whatever, it's there. Um, and then over here in this corner, I just have some books that I need to haul, so I'm not going to show you guys those up close. Hope you guys can see those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> books I need to haul, but yeah. So let's show you guys my face now. Okay, ladies, so this is the end of the video. I look a hot mess, I know. Um, <laughs> this was quite interesting to make. I don't know how people do these kind of videos. It's ridiculous. But I do have a total of five bookshelves in my room. I have three tall ones and two of these like small black ones. Um, I keep this one by my bed just because I like to read at night and I prefer to grab a biblical fiction rather than like a paranormal fantasy or like contemporary romance or anything like that. But um, yeah, I do have, like I said, this rolling cart, which I'll do a video on once I get my rose gold one. Um, pay my Dunkin' Donuts no more. <laughs> This video is all over the place, ladies. I don't know, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see a review on anything specific. Um, sorry about the glare of my glasses, but yeah, this this video is everywhere. I don't even know how this video is going to come out when I edit it, so pray that I actually upload this video, ladies. And if I do, thank you guys for sticking with me through this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!